Hi there. My name is Frank Foti. Uh, my business card has the title of Il Padrino, which I'll just leave to your imagination what that all means and where I may fit in the overall scheme of things here in our organization. Uh, about 20 some years ago, I got started uh, fooling around with making my own audio processors. And at that time, it was myself and a big, large cat by the name of Vito Corleone, hence the Il Padrino part. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about some audio processing philosophy and we'll expand a bit more with regard to our overall organization, the TELUS Alliance. I hail from a background which is radio broadcasting. I was down, in the di down and dirty in the ditches. I guess I could probably get in a lot of trouble if I mangled that. Um, as a radio engineer for a number of successful radio stations. I grew up here in Cleveland. I had the chance to work at WMMS uh, when it was the buzzard and very successful at the time. And then later on, I ended up in New York City with a little pea shooter radio station that grew up and became known as Z100. Um, the goal of those radio stations was to, I guess if I could borrow a term from Roger Daltrey, the lead singer of The Who, and when once asked, um, how would Roger describe the music of the Who? He said, it's like getting punched in the nose when somebody says, I love you. And um, that's always been the uh, approach I've been put in charge with, with regard to creating audio processing and how to get a radio station to sound dominant on the dial. My goal has always been to have a radio station sound as loud as possible, yet provide as much signal quality as possible and hopefully if you've had the opportunity to work with us we've been able to achieve that through innovation um, and creativity some of which was brought about by um, my brother from another mother who also was in the early stages and the initial founder of the Telos Alliance or Telos Systems the late Steve Church and that was what could we do that set ourselves apart but not utilize me too thinking, not be some wannabe, not some secondary one-off, hopefully have a one-hit wonder product that would get us on the map. But what could we do where we basically go from nothing to something and we leapfrog over everyone else? Uh, Steve got started in 1985 and he was able to do that by introducing digital signal processing, also known as DSP, into the broadcast marketplace. And Steve did that as he came up with a brand new innovative way of doing a digital telephone hybrid and that was in the Telos 10. Um, along came his goofy ragtag buddy Frank Foti who was um, wanting to get his feet wet with regard to business, signal processing, for radio and product design and we kind of put our arms together and um, went after it and were able to be the first uh, engineers to make use of digital signal processing in a successful manner as we developed in 1997 the Omnia FM audio processor. Why do I say the first digital or successful digital audio processor? Well reason being is for prior 12 years or so a number of others had tried and they'd failed. So much so that uh, DSP for signal processing for broadcast was uh, very much on the verge of getting a bad name for itself. So we knew we won, we either had to, um, we had a last gasp effort to make DSP work for broadcast audio processing. And also, we looked at it, if, if we didn't get our own product for uh, processing, um, working the way we needed it to, maybe we wouldn't be around that much longer in the broadcast audio processing environment. So we put our heads together, and again, using that, how are we gonna leapfrog over everyone else? We were the first guys to come up with a way to do the um, toughest challenge in signal processing, and that's known as hard limiting or clipping. We were the first to be able to uh, accomplish that without generating any aliasing distortion by the signal processor. That paved our way into um, becoming the um, industry's uh, leader in signal processing. We're, and we, you know, if I may take a moment and say thank you because we remain that way to this very day. Um, but we got there through innovation, through having a better idea, through a lot of um, 
if I could borrow some phrases from uh, Malcolm Gladwell's book, uh, Outliers, where Steve and I, we each put the 10,000 hours of effort or more in uh, to get something to where it needed to be the best um, in its category. Um, and that mindset is in existence to this very day. Uh, while I know I've got Steve um, as my running mate forever in life from up above, myself and the talented crew that's here in the Telos Alliance, we, we throw the bar out there day in and day out and we go after it and then when we achieve it and we get there we you know we may take a moment take a breath you know like when you're done exercising you, you know you say wow I just did you know X number of push-ups or sit-ups or ran a certain distance you, you know you got to recover for a little bit you take that deep breath and then you're going throw the bar further out there and you know when you think that Telos got started around 1985 and next year on uh, the calendar year of 2015 will mark our 30th anniversary here we're still throwing that bar out there further and further. We do it with Omnia, we do it with Telos, we do it with Axia, we do it with Linear Acoustic, and the, and the you know, our uh, brothers from other mothers at 25-7 uh, continue to do it as well. So um, if you're wondering about some of the, let's say the pedigree or the stock of what makes up the individuals and the company known as the Telos Alliance, it comes down to a lot of passion, a lot of ingenuity, uh, inventiveness, innovation, and drive. Um, and um, I think based on that, and hopefully if you've had the opportunity to um, make use of some of our products, uh, hopefully my words that I've shared with you uh, today have um, ring true. Here's the Omni 11. It's a product we're very proud of. Um, and I'm, I, and along with the rest of the team, we're, we're very proud of it for a number of reasons. For me, one of the reasons I'm extremely proud about it is it's the first um, Omnia product where 100% or 90% of it uh, all doesn't center around what's going on in my head or ideas that you know I had going on. The Omni 11 is a collaboration primarily in the signal processing area of myself and Cornelius Gould. Uh, I joke around the office here that because um, every once in a while some of the staff will say to me, hey boss, and I'll say, I'm sorry, uh, Bruce Springsteen's not here. But if I could stay with the Springsteen chat for a moment, I keep thinking that one day Corny and I are going to, as a tribute to Bruce and Clarence Clemens, we're going to redo the cover to Born to Run. Because um, in the way that Bruce and Clarence had a beautiful chemistry when they created that fantastic album back in 1975 called Born to Run, uh, Corny and I have been able to do that in our effort here with Omni 11. I'm excited about that aspect, but for yet another reason. And that is back in the early days of when the company wasn't even known as Omnia, but it was known as Cutting Edge Technologies, I always had this crazy dream. And if any of you remember the television show Miami Vice, they were always out to get the drug cartel. And there was something about the word cartel that I always liked. I guess it's another way of saying mafia. But I always wanted to have like an audio processing cartel or an audio processing mafia. And um, that's also one of the reasons why my title on the business card is Il Padrino. See, I gave the answer to the trivia question. We may not have a contest, but what the hell. In any case, I want, I, I want Omnia, and we're working towards this goal, to be more than just one guy and one guy's set of ideas, and then repackaging that same set of ideas again and again and again. But there's other people out there that have great ideas, and they have good ears too. Cornelius Gould is one of them. Leif Clayson, the developer of Omnia 9, is, you know, it, um, is another one. Um, we're privileged to work with him. Tim Carroll, who's behind the you know, uh, linear acoustic and um, was probably one of the secret sauces back in, the, you know, in some of the key things with uh, Dolby years ago, is another one. So in closing, a message I want to share is um, I have found it to be very important to create a good bench. 
Yes, it's a sports analogy. And if you look at any successful team in sports, and really in business, it comes down to the, to the people that are also part of the team, the people that are on the bench, the people that are on their way fighting tooth and nail to get in the game and to be at the front lines. We have that, and we're very proud of it. And so when you give thought to, you know, hmm, which group do I want to be working with? That's something that's important. Give thought to it because we're here today and we're going to be here tomorrow. Thank you very much.